Why, well, hello everyone, welcome back, and now we get to enjoy the pleasures of MATLAB. Uh, this is a brand new um, uh, software for a lot of you, and I wanted to uh, take a chance to kind of go over the interface on MATLAB, show you what the different windows are, and cover a brief introduction with some things you need to know. And this will be a very short, this plan to just sort of review what we have uh, covered in class on Thursday. Uh, note you'll notice I'm using a slightly different version. It's the 2016 pre-release. Um, I'm just uh, beta testing it a little bit, uh, but it should be all the same. I haven't seen anything majorly different. But when you open it up, you have obviously your current folder window, which says what Active Directory MATLAB is working in. You have, as I mentioned before, your command window. Um, the command window is uh, where you're going to be Doing all of your calculations, it's it is the effectively the the temporary place where all calculations will be held, where everything's going to be going to, and and what um uh, uh just the status right now of the calculators. So view this if you think of MATLAB as a calculator. View the command window as pretty much the calculator screen, um, and usually don't see these other things like the file size or the workspace um, appropriately uh, in in MATLAB or in in the calculator. And the workspace is the place where all of your variables will get stored in MATLAB as well. Now you'll notice um, MATLAB and uh, in the command window, there are, everything works off of variables. Unlike in Excel where it's all cell based, we now have variables and variables can take many different forms. Effectively, one example is a variable can be a, a scalar, a single value of a one by one array. It can be vectors. It can be a vector in the range of one, two, three, a column vector, or I mean a row, of, um, a row vector uh, in that direction, or it can simply be a uh, column vector. And I will explain more about the coding I'm doing now in a little bit. But it can also be a column vector. These are uh, the uh, systems that the variables can take. In addition, variables can also be um, 2D arrays, uh, two, two, three, and and you can get a nice 2D array matrix, uh, so to speak, uh, in MATLAB. Now you'll notice I'll use matrix and array interchangeably, but for the most part, I'm going to refer to them as arrays. Uh, the reason for that is I'm not going to, oftentimes when we do calculations in MATLAB, we don't want to treat it as a matrix where it's an assembly of data like the coefficient uh, matrix in, in matrix multiplication. Um, I, in this case, I really, uh, I really want to treat them as just a group of numbers, but they don't have to be tied together. They, they, they'll have references relation to together, but there's kind of a group of numbers. Um, in addition, you can actually, and this is, um, I'll give a quick example of this, but you can have a matrix of, of an, um, a matrix of, of, um, of, uh, different dimensions. It can actually even be a uh, 3D matrix. So uh, rather than <clears throat> just having a 2D array, you can actually also have 3D arrays or even greater. An example uh, could take the form of a 5x5x5 a five by five by five array where you now have this 5x5x5 five five by five double, it's called. It's a double variable. Um, uh, that's uh, for those who code, uh, recognize that from the um, uh, C language, but uh, it just means it uh, can holds a, a large. Each cell can hold a large number of of, uh, of a uh, real number form uh, to fit. So you have this organization here of all the variables you can have. Now, in addition to that, you can also and I, what I would encourage you to do is this is the standard work, uh, the the new standard interface or default interface for. Um, MATLAB. What I encourage you to do is to go and look at uh, the different formats you have, default, two column, and otherwise, but go to command history and you can put one in as docked. And I really like having this in the background because this is a nice review of the things you did. You can go here, scroll up, click on what you did, click on what you want, and you can actually see it even gives you breakdown by date of what you helped with and what's going on um, and so forth. Uh, you'll notice if you're a little astute and you remember from Thursday, someone had made the comment of saying, 
well, hey, this is a, a Y, it might be an Easter egg. Uh, let's type in why. Uh, so I encourage you to do that on your own. Uh, uh, someone was very uh, clever to catch that out. So uh, kudos to you. I, I don't remember who did that, but uh, that was kind of cool. But you can see that I did it. So I, I can't hide my my uh, previous work here. So note there is no uh, uh, hidden mode here. So any of your uh, inappropriate calculations that you make will show up in the command history. Um, if you do want to delete it, you can, but I don't see a reason to it because it's 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 actually a very nice way of going back. You can click on an event and reevaluate it. Um, you could even by holding down the shift key again, uh, like in Excel, select a large range in the command history. So it's very useful to pull up past information and and uh, past usage. Um, and so I think for that, this is a quick overview of the interface. And in the next video, we'll start talking about M files and some of the coding from there. So thanks a lot.